This is a demonstration of the Oakton PC Tester 35. Before testing, it's important to remove the sensor cap and soak the sensor in warm tap water or pH buffer for approximately 10 minutes. A brief rinse in DI water is okay, but avoid soaking or storing in DI water as this will shorten the pH electrode life. For best results, calibrate with certified accurate pH calibration buffers. You may calibrate up to five points. Press the on off button to turn the meter on and mode enter to select pH mode as needed. Rinse the sensor with clean water. Immerse the sensor into your pH buffer and press Cal. The primary display will show the uncalibrated pH value, while the secondary display should search for and lock on the closest automatic calibration value. Allow the primary display to stabilize, then press Mode Enter to confirm the calibration value. The primary value will blink briefly before the secondary value automatically scrolls through the remaining pH buffers available for calibration. Repeat with additional buffers or press CAL to return to measurement mode. For best results, calibrate with certified accurate conductivity calibration standards. Press ON OFF to turn the meter on and mode ENTER to select conductivity mode as needed. Rinse the sensor with clean water. Immerse the sensor into your standard and press CAL. The primary display will show the uncalibrated value, while the secondary display should search for and lock on the closest automatic calibration value. Allow the primary display to stabilize, then press Mode Enter to confirm the calibration value. The primary value will blink briefly before returning to measurement mode. Repeat these steps as needed with additional calibration standards if desired. Press on off to turn the meter on. Press mode enter to select either pH or conductivity mode. Fully submerge the sensor in your sample and wait for the reading to stabilize. Note the reading or press hold during measurement to freeze the display. The hold indicator will display when the reading is held. Press hold again to resume live measurement. The sensor does not require special storage. Rinse with clean water after use and cover the sensor with the included cap. Keep it room temperature away from extreme temperatures. The sensor can easily be rehydrated by soaking if stored dry.